All right, back in the shed. Um, done some more stuff in the Galaxy. Started putting the sound deadening on the floor. Um, it's an Aeroflow product. Uh, pretty good. I mean, it's like most other sound deadening stuff, but uh, yeah, it goes on all right. I haven't got a roller, so I improvised. Got the old skateboard truck and the uh, Santa Cruz OJ combos. So that was me rolling it all out. Uh, put some under the back seat as well. So I just got to do that side. Um, yeah. We'll get into it. Well, I've done probably three quarters of it, but I've run out. Just got that side under the seat to do, rear seat, but uh, yeah, what a mission. What a mission. The old uh, skateboard wheels for my rollers come in handy though. So, go Santa Cruz. All right, we've been humming through this. Um, didn't video any of it, obviously, but let's have a little catch up. So we've got some Dynamat, well, not Dynamat, but because that shit is just crazy money. It's like gold plated or something. Um, got some Aeroflow sound deadener. So it's, oh, it's about two mil. Um, very similar stuff so i've done the floor um all that side's done i've got half a carpet in as you can see so i've done the um, sound deadening there i've also done it under the seat under the rear seat and rear seats in um these cards are in um yeah it would have been good to get brand new interior but as I say, the old budget is non-existent, so these cleaned up alright though, they're pretty um, pretty good. The foam's buggered, but, um, and I need to sort out that parcel shelf, tray shelf. I'll put something over that for now. Um, had to tape up the old top of these because they're all split, but I'll try and get some like maroon tape or something and tidy them up a bit better. Um, still got to put the armrests on there. Yeah, so this is where we're at. Carpet, man. This is bloody exciting, eh? Alright, got one side in. This seemed to fit alright. Uh, just got to cut in the dip switch through there. So let's get into the other side. Alright, this is nerve wracking. Cutting this so it goes under. But not cutting it too short. That bit up there should loop up to that. Unfortunately, I had to do it in two pieces, but it's covered right to there. Um, i am still going to put sound deadening up in through here, so tidy that up. But yeah, I had to dismantle the bloody console. Never mind. We'll push on.
Man, pretty stoked how this is turning out. Got the chrome trim on there. So I found it all. Um, gave it a little bit of a polish up. Put elbow grease. Um, yeah, mint. So, yeah, that carpet's in. I still got to uh, chuck the accelerator cable back in and put the holes through for the seat belts. But, yeah, this bit here's a bit worse for wear. She's all bent up. So I need to try and um, give that a bit of loving. bent on one side really so if I give it a I don't know if I'm going to be able to straighten that oh yeah it's a lot better a little bit right on that edge there eh? just checking the rag over it so I don't damage it Try not to. I can just squeeze. Oh shit. Far too. Far too much. So I do, I am short of a whole bunch of uh, screws and you know, I put these uh, little clips on backwards for, so the um, smaller step out is at the top There's the biggest step out on the bottom Well, that's in, but oh, carpet jammed against those wires. Jammed up. Man, I am pumped with that. All that chrome that straightened up not too bad. I could. Every little bit just gets you more and more excited, you know? All right, I need to put the rest of that in. So this goes in inside there, like, like that. So don't put this in before you put this in. This is what, this is the hinge for the, uh, the door so yeah don't do what I did and put that in and put all this back together and figure out that it doesn't work like that so I've pulled it back out again she's a fiddly little bloody um I did get that in somehow, I just can't remember. No, no, no. Oh, that maybe. Open that up. Oh, come on. Come on now. Oh, spring off. This is technical shit. Oh, there we go. Spring back on. There we go. 
And there's a little screw you got to put in in the center before you put the uh, ashtray in. That's another trick. We're in team. Bloody hell, if I have to pull this off again. Well, we got there in the end. I'm stoked with how those things turned out. Yeah, definitely glad I didn't paint it black. I might just, I think I'm just gonna keep the inside red. The old two-tone dash. Um, yeah, look at that. The door never used to work at all. It was just all rubbish, but um, pumped. And front carpet's in. Yep. Stoked. Stoked as for this. Oh, look at that. Had to chuck the old um, insert back in, but. She'll do for now. Anyway, I'm done for now. Um, we'll get back in it. Um, maybe tomorrow. All right, let's cross a few things off. Eh? Vacuum line, yep, chuck that in. Dynamat, done. Um, nope, nope, still got to do, still do that. Trunk rubber, probably need to do that soon. Fender bolts. Terra trim and console, well, we're halfway there. Um, Carpet, mm. yeah, let's cross that off. I've just got to cut along the edges where the um, sill trims go on. Man, still a lot to do on there. And it's the seventh today, so we've got 15 days. Yup. Oh, cross this off. Fit, grill, and trim. Chuck that on. Just change the whole look of the car with the old trim. Just need those bumpers. All right, we have got interior light going under there, and the back one's going, and um, wiper switch. That's so. It was, I think it was a '65 or '66 Mustang one. Um, exactly the same plug, plugs in the back. I couldn't find a 64 um, Galaxy one, so I got that off Tony at Northwestern Ford. Um, I got a new wiper knob, which is for a Galaxy, but the hole um, is too small, so you have to drill it out to a 5mm, I think. Drill it out a bit, and it'll fit on. But it didn't come with a little um, retainer nut on here to screw it into there, so... Um, I've got to track that down, chuck it in there, but the wipers didn't want to go in uh, initially because I guess they haven't been going for probably God knows how long, but we have got, hang on, hang on, hang on. wipers, check that out. Man, they only do like half the driver's side though. But, yeah, me, no. Eh? Two speed, two. Go, we're in business. And that noise, I don't know if you hear that noise, but it's the uh, power steering pump. my turbo. It's 
So we've got that done, we've got the uh, car pedal back in, um, put the holes through the carpet for the seats and the um, seat belt. What I used was so a bit of threaded rod, ground it down to a point and heat it up a bit, put some heat on it and, the, and push it through. So that did the trick for that. Um, that's some more dynamat up under there. Well, sound deadening all up along there. Uh, remounted my gauges there. I just need to tidy up that wiring at the back. I uh, still need to rebuild the heater or make, try and make a good one out of the two I've got. But um, yeah. A bit more progress. Oh, the other thing is this. The only thing with this here, it doesn't stick out. It doesn't stick out as far as these ones. Um, so I don't know. I guess you could you could drill out the hole in the back there to um, to pull it forward in line with these ones, but. Um, I'm not really going to do that. I'll try and just find a second hand um, wiper switch or try and find a new one somewhere. Maybe um, Bud's Classics or something. Mm. And the new C lighter works, so you can chuck the charger in there. progressing slowly but surely foot foot steering wheel done wiper switch wipers done still not done done not done not done tear trim and console well console's done just need to chuck the front seats in really and the door card so I guess we can't take that off yet but yeah, stoked. Wipers works. Um, like I said, the um, the motor, man, she struggled to go. I wonder if there's any way I can, um, like, if there's any way I can grease that up or lube up the components on that motor or not, if anyone knows. But yeah. trickle charger on this battery's toast so we'll have to get another one a decent one all right i'll see you next time finish off the list we'll carry on with the list